Hello and welcome back to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I'm going to make an adjustment to some of the placement of my larch trees in my larch planting. Regretting uh, some decisions that I had made uh, earlier on and I'm going to move ahead and try and put these trees where I think they should go. It's not going to be an easy task, uh, but I um, I'm going to get started on it and I'm going to be cursing under my breath the whole time because I should have known better, but here we go. This isn't going to be so easy to show you, but I'm going to want to move this tree closer to the edge of the pot. And when I place these trees, I let the roots dictate where I put them in the planting. And while that worked out for me to get them the way they are, in retrospect, I should have not allowed the roots to rule the roost um, and just place this where it is. So this tree really should be about right here in this planting. And then I have a similar problem on the other side. It's gonna be a little hard for me to show you that. I'll shift some things around. Now I wanted the tree line to be on an angle with this being the disappearing point of the angle and it going this way. So this tree right here should be back here. And I'll try and shift this tree back a little bit further and maybe those two back trees closer to the outside of the pot. I had this all, um, uh, you know, all the heavy rocks on it, keeping them steady. Obviously they're still quite shaky in the pot. I hope that I can use that to my advantage. Um, I think the trees are doing fine. I have a lot of pruning to do and selection of height to, uh, to make, but I think I just need to move the trees around first. And if I get this tree back here and I have a viable cutting, small cutting, I'll, I'll put it in line and maybe I'll even stick a little tree back in here. I'm not certain though about that one. All right, let me get started on this. So what I'm doing is clearing the space behind this tree just to see if I can inch it over a little bit. I didn't want to disturb this moss area much, but it appears as though I'm going to have to disturb it more than I am. I hope I'm not messing too much with these roots. This is unfortunate, but um, you get to see the good and the bad when you, uh, when you do this yourselves. You might as well see the bad from other people so you don't feel bad about your own. Well, I hope you never make these mistakes. All right, I'm getting a little bit of movement there. Not as much as I would have liked. I 
Okay, working in concert. I gotta figure out how to tuck these roots back down. But that's not too bad. That's kind of what I was looking for. I'm gonna backfill this now. Not, not fully, just enough. And see if anything else needs adjusting. Okay, so that gives me room for another tree here. And it helps this line. Now I'm gonna go around the other side and see if I can't improve that other issue. Now the idea of this adjustment is to pull these trees back a bit this one especially and hopefully this one a little bit so let me see if i can't pull away enough soil best working with my fingers here i think I feel what's going on and since i am going to want to pull this this way I may have to cut some roots. Let's see what I'm up against here. That might work. I can uncrowd this a bit. Part of this discussion that I'm having with myself about the placement here is due to a video I watched this morning of, uh, from Nigel Saunders, who had stated in his video that when you plant a forest, there's a lot of work involved. Keeping the trees miniature, and all of that is your normal bonsai work, but Taking a look between the trees, making sure the branches aren't interfering with one another. You're going to need room for that. So I didn't leave myself enough room for that here. I think the pot gave me that room. I just didn't take it. I'm working my way back around here and I'm going to cut some roots. I'm sorry, trees. I didn't want to do this. But you're strong. I think you'll recover. And of course, I will be putting the rocks back on the planting to keep the trees as vertical as I can. I'm gonna 
work this soil back into the roots. Add more and take away from as necessary. And I'll come back to you when I think the placement is complete. All right, so I moved it over. It's not all that heavy. I haven't uh, employed my removable rock yet, but that will be a, uh, <laughs> a future endeavor. Um, but I'm gonna apply some muck to the uh, tree line to get that angle I was looking for. And I'm still trying to decide if I can get a little tree in there and maybe one here, a very small one, if that's possible. But I'm gonna zoom up on this, go into fast mode so you won't hear that uh, lawnmower. It is the season. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so this is the special bonsai science recipe, 50% sphagnum moss, ground very fine, and 50% your favorite moss, ground, dried and ground very fine, and at least in my, uh, Central Park landscape is greening up nicely. I got to get this outside at some point. But I've been watering it and it will green up. So that's my repaired line. You can't really see it that well in this view. Take my word for it. Uh, the tree placement is better. I'm going to add the uh, stones back <laughs> i'm not going to move it after i add the stones back um, but i think i'm happier with the placement of all the trees at this point all right thank you very much for keeping us company in our backyard mm -hmm.